Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and my new series, Gaming on Sunday Morning. Which is a series where every single Sunday morning, just like today, I'm gonna be checking out a game with you guys. And this week we are checking out Fishing Planet. Now, I have a lot to say about why I picked this game, but number one, I'm recording with new, uh, some new equipment. I got the Logitech C922 camera over here. And as you can see above me, I got sort of a new like Twitch style streaming setup. Um, I did this that way because the old camera I was using wasn't syncing with the video properly, the audio in the video. So that kind of got messed up. And then this way I can preview exactly what the screen looks like over here on my left monitor. I can do things like this. Check this out. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I can move me over to here. Check that out. Because or later in the game, I will have to move myself over there. But we'll just put myself back there for now. So yeah, that's super cool. I'm really excited. I know that's pretty basic for Twitch streaming. But yeah, we're going to be checking out Fishing Planet today, which is a online multiplayer fishing simulator. Now, I wanted to play Dark and Light this week. Dark and Light is that new survival MMO kind of RPG uh, game. It's basically an Ark Survival Evolved, but with a new skin and magic and stuff like that. And some of you guys even requested that I play that game, but it's a very slow progressing game and I didn't want to play, I played it a lot this week, but I want to play it another week before I talk to you guys about that because I don't want to just make a video and tell you guys like, oh, this is what level 1 to 10 is like. I want to get a little bit farther in the game because uh, it takes it takes a long time to do anything to build up a house. I want to have a nice house built for you guys and whatnot. So Dark and Light will be next week. This week, Fishing Planet, I'm sipping on my French press coffee. This is actually my second time recording this video. The first video was all the way up to 25 minutes. My coffee is super cold right now, so I'm not actually sipping on it, but make sure you guys let me know what you're sipping on. I'll reheat that as soon as I'm done recording this. So before jumping into Fishing Planet, let's take a look at the Steam store page. This is a free to play game with a ton of microtransactions where it gets a lot of bad reviews because of the microtransactions, but I'll tell you why I don't really think that's going to affect me too much. The recent reviews are mixed because of microtransactions, and overall is mostly positive. It is an early access, despite this game releasing all the way back on August 11th of 2015. Um, there's two things of why they get mixed reviews. A is the microtransactions, but B is the lack of development of this game. It seems that the developers are taking a long time to make stuff like, for example, I guess they promised that fishing boats and kayaks would be coming, but as of right now, you still can only walk around. Um, but yeah, the requirements are a dual core 2.4 gigahertz, four gigabytes of RAM and a crappy graphics card. Recommended though is actually kind of up there with a quad core 3.0 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM and two gigabytes of video RAM. And I'll show you why. This game actually looks pretty solid. Uh, this game is built on the Unreal Engine, and once we get into the, the, um, the game, I'll show you how beautiful it is. But like here you can see previews of all these places that you can go, and they, yeah, they look pretty solid. I really want to go to White Moose Lake. But yeah, before actually fishing here, um, this is a quick tour of what the game menu looks like. You start off and you live in Texas, and you start level one. And as you level up by just, by fishing, obviously, uh, you gain levels and you eventually unlock more places. I'm up to level 7 here and I've unlocked Mudwater River, which is where we're going to go today, and Emerald Lake. So to fish at these spots, you also have to buy a fishing license. Now you're going to start to see a theme that this game is very, very realistic. I'm not entirely sure how realistic it is as in terms of like fish tendencies, like should you use this lure, should you use this color bait, should you uh, twitch your, like when you're reeling and twitching, should you double twitch, stuff like that. I'm not sure if that's really realistic because it's not something that I'm into personally when real life fishing, but as far as what you have to buy, fishing license, fish nets, tackle boxes, the jacket to hold your tackle, stuff like that, very realistic and it's amazing. But that did kind of remind me, I wanted to tell you guys that I have been fishing a lot in real life. I've kind of always been into fishing. I used to fish as a kid uh, with my grandpa and then my wife and I, uh, we've been fishing, we fish every year. I mean, this year we've already gone out like seven or eight times and we just bought a boat actually. Uh, it's a very small like portable eight foot bass boat 
Um, I'll post some pictures here of all the recent catches that I've been getting. It's just like some uh, some largemouth bass here and there. But we've been having a ton of fun with real life fishing. So I thought the combination of me fishing in real life and the whole dark and light thing, how I want to play the game an extra week, I thought it was a good time to play this game. So I, I showed you the map here. You have to buy the licenses. You have to buy a plane ticket to get to these places. So you live in Texas, so you don't have to pay. But if I want to go to Mudwater River, it costs me $1,800 for a one day trip. It costs me $2,100 for a two day trip, $24 for a three day. And here you can see I only have 10 grand, so that money goes quick. Um, uh, the last video that I just recorded that kind of got messed up, I spent the $1,800 and went to Mudwater, and I came back with $200 worth of fish, so it was a very, very negative day. Uh, but that's a cool thing. This is very realistic. This is not the type of game where you cast out and you reel in a fish. Cast, reel, cast, reel. It's very realistic. Um, so I want to show you the shop here. Now this is the worldwide shop, which is you can access this shop. <clears throat> Sorry, from the main menu. But if you go into like Mudwater River or Lone Star Lake, there is a shop, but it's a local shop. And those local shops don't have nearly as much stuff to buy as the worldwide shop which if you think about it is super realistic um i've done it before where i went on a fishing trip i didn't bring everything i needed with me i went to a local shop like a little gas station whatnot they don't have everything you need and you have to just make with what you do so it's very cool that you actually have to plan out your trips especially if you go on a long trip um, which is money wise of huge advantage because you could see it cost eighteen hundred dollars for one day but then only $2,100 to double that for two days. So it's kind of like real life. Um, you just have to pay for like your hotel, whereas your your uh, your flight ticket would stay the same price no matter what day you came back. So here in the Worldwide Shop, you can see that there are a bunch of diff different types of rods, reels, lines, tools and equipment, such as uh, your fishing net. You, you The way you make money in this game is by fishing and then selling your fish and you can only bring back what you can handle. So you start off with this net, which can only hold a total weight of 4.4 pounds, um, which is not that much if you know anything about fish size. So right now I have this one. I can hold up to 15 pounds of fish. And the place we're going to, I think I can catch a couple like one pound bass, not nothing big. Um, so that'll be a good amount of money I can come back with. Uh, there's tackle here with bobbers and hooks and whatnot all sorts of different types of lures like 37 pages of lures look at all these that is absolutely crazy how much now some of these uh are only used with the premium currency which i talked about like at the very beginning they tempt you because you don't you don't unlock these until you level up uh, like here you can see you have to be level eight for all this kind of stuff level nine for all this and at the beginning they have mini bass jigs here and it's the only like real bass lure that you can use although the casting spoons work pretty well for bass actually and that's how you get they get you and see it costs one premium currency i only have 11 and you definitely don't earn them fast unless if you pay real money for it so I don't, i'm not even looking at anything premium currency uh but yeah so that's the shop outside the shop there's events competitions and tournaments here you can see the competitions it's a, a calendar style here off with the different uh, locations. So here you can see at like 12 p.m. Uh, this finished at 4 p.m. They're going to be doing this. The size matters. It, there's just all sorts of tournaments here. Well, those are competitions. And then these are the tournaments. Um, it, there's just so much stuff to do. But I haven't even gotten into any of these. I, I don't even plan on trying because I haven't learned the game or fishing in general that much to be competitive. But... This is why the reviewers say that this game is a low, uh, like a low score, because I guess it is pay to win, which I don't know. If you're like me and you just want to watch some Netflix or something and play this game, the pay to win has nothing to, it won't affect you at all, I promise. But here you can see in my inventory, um, I do have a two rod holder, so I can bring two rod setups with me. This first one is a, uh, a bobber with uh, small minnows for bass, and then I have this one which just has a casting spoon, which is also kind of set up for bass. So we're going to go to Mudwater River. I'm going to drop another $1,800 on this. Um, I have my fishing licenses already bought. You, There's two types of licenses. There's a basic and an advanced. The basic 
gives you rules where you can only take these fish and if you catch these fish, largemouth bass trophy being one of them, you have to release it immediately. Now, you can choose if you don't have the correct license to keep it uh, and then it'll go through like this little processing phase and it'll tell you whether or not you get caught and you have to pay a violation. So like, it, it's pretty risky. Um, I caught three largemouth bass so far uh, when I didn't have my license and I tried to keep all three of them and I got caught every single time. So I had to pay $300 worth of fines or something like that. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, whenever you do buy them, I don't think I can buy them from here, can I? Yeah, it doesn't look, oh no, I can buy them from the shop. So we'll go to licenses here. Where are we? I don't even know what state we're in. But, uh, oh, North Carolina. Go there. Um, and then see, you can see here that you buy them for like one day, three days a week, month, or unlimited, which is with the premium currency. Uh, but yeah, I only bought one day. It doesn't last, which is really cool. It doesn't last one in-game day. It lasts one real life day. So like I bought it before I started recording this uh, and I, I bought it at 10.05 AM and then uh, like it'll last the entire real life day. So multiple trips worth, worth of fish in here. So yeah, we're gonna jump into this. You can walk around wherever you go, but you do pick a starting location. I'm gonna pick this location, Catfish Haven or Heaven, I didn't look. Uh, but you're gonna see how good these graphics are. Check this out. Boom. So whenever you jump into a game, you jump into a lobby with real people. Um, you can choose to either enter a random lobby or a lobby with just your friends. And then you can walk around. I can come up to this guy and hit tab button and say, hey all, any luck this morning? And I really like the conversation that you can have in this game because there's not a lot of 12 year old screaming kids in a fishing simulator. It's a little bit more of a mature community. So I've had some pretty good conversations, kind of like role playing, honestly, like we're just like asking each other how we're doing fishing, like what baits working and whatnot. It's, it's exactly what it's like in real life when somebody uh, rides past you in their boat and they're asking you how they're doing. So or how you're doing. So I'm gonna fast forward time here after I get out of that. I'm gonna go to like 11 a.m. Uh, bass typically strike in this game when it's a little bit more sunny and hot out. So here you can see that boom, it just uh, fast forward time. And here you can really see the graphics, which look pretty nice. I'm gonna switch to my other setup here. Um, Hopefully one day, like I said earlier in this video, these kayaks are rideable and you can go anywhere. That would be super cool. Man, that's a big rod for this small pond. Uh, but yeah, so this is it. I am going to move myself over here. Hold on one second. I'm going to move myself over here. That way. I love doing this. It's so cool. That way. Get rid of that. Uh, you can see in the bottom right there how I cast. So I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button, release at maximum power to really get out there. And I got stuck. So one of the realistic things is I get stuck a lot in real life. So why wouldn't I get stuck in here? So on the right side, you can see that tension meter and that just shows how much tension you have. You can hit the right mouse button to give it a jerk like that. And that's also how you uh, like set the hook uh, when you're fishing. Like whenever you get a bite, you want to quickly set the hook and see if you can get that hook in there and you can try like going left or right with it, reeling it in and whatnot, but it looks like I'm really stuck in that lily pad over there. So I can hit B and break my line and I lose everything. Uh, I just lost my tackle and all that. I gotta go back into my inventory and rebuild it, which is, okay, I got line on there. What, what was I even using? No way. I lost my tackle. That was my last casting spoon. Okay, I already explained that how realistic that is. Really, really hoping that my casting spoon, it's not. Oh, yes it is. Okay, um, I think I was using this one. That might be a little big though. We're gonna buy a couple of these. So good thing that the local shop had that. Uh, I'm gonna throw that on there. Uh, the weight is optimal. Okay, okay cool. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna fish out. I'm just gonna fish out in the middle here. I'm not gonna fish this deep. <laughs> um, on, on the right hand side above the tension meter, you can see exactly what my bait is doing. Uh, 
I'll let it float to the bottom, which it won't. Uh, but you can twitch it. Uh, you can do different methods. Uh, different fish respond to different types of twitching and whatnot. And it's in real life, I'm the, I've, I've never been the type of person who concentrates so much on the specifics like what color lures, what kind of twitching should you single twitch? Should you, oh, that guy just caught a nice, is that, a, that was a catfish. Um, I've never been brutal into the details of that. Kind of think that takes the fun out of fish and I just want to go and relax. But there are a different bunch of methods. I've been usually just going with the, uh, like twitch it up a little bit, cast in the slack, twitch it up a little bit, cast in the slack. And I've been having some pretty good luck with that. <clears throat> um, now I didn't explain why I went with fishing planet because like I already said, I did it because I want to spend, I want to spend more time on dark and light, but I originally intended to play this new game that just came out like a week or two ago. And it's called uh fishing trophy two. Uh, I would have picked that game because it is brand new, but it was so unrealistic. Like every single time you, Oh, there's a fish. Look at that. All right. Let's see if we can get him. So here you can see I'm just reeling and he's actually taking more lines. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a jerk and then reel in that slack. And he's pretty far out there. So this might be uh, a little bit difficult. He feels like a big fish, honestly. Might be a big bass. But uh, at the bottom right there, you can see that how much line I have left. I'm at 37 feet. I'm just going to keep twitching it back and forth. Uh, if that tension meter does go in the red, you could snap your line. But I think... I'm going to reel him in successfully. See if I can bring him back. Oh, man, he's really fighting. Uh, there he just jumped out of the water a little bit and almost got him reeled up. Pull him out of the water, and there he is. Let's see what we got. So there is a young largemouth bass, first of the day, 1.084 pounds. Now, whenever you catch fish here, you have the option to either sell it and, by keeping it uh, for 59 bucks, I would get, or I could release it. Now, the fishing that I have, I can hold up to 15 pounds, as you can see up there. So I'm definitely going to keep it and keep going. But yeah, the game I was talking about is uh, Fishing Trophy. Every single time you cast out there, you were coming back with a fish. Like, you would have to royally screw up to not come back with a fish every single cast. And I guess that's good for... Oh, there I had a bite. I guess that's good for people who aren't really into the simulator style of fishing. They just want to reel in big fish. But you can see that I've casted out four times now and I've only come back with one fish, which is actually in real life very good. Um, but you can go here and have terrible days just like in real life and just not get any bites or anything. And it's that there's that word realistic again. I'm going to say it a lot because this game is realistic and I really like that. So... Um, after I reel in this one, I am going to walk around the island, or not the island, the pond, and uh, show you a little bit more. But I'm just such a fan of how casual this game is. Look, I'm just fishing next to two people. That guy's actually got some pretty nice gear. Um, the player customization in this game isn't great at all. There's only a couple character models to choose from. Very, very few pieces of clothing, but I never saw that. He might have paid for that or something. I don't I didn't really look exactly if you could uh, use like premium currency to buy uh, clothing or whatnot. I think it would be pretty cool instead of having, oh, I didn't mean to cast. Instead of just having us all look the same. But uh, yeah, as soon as I cast this in, maybe I can come up with a fish. Come on now. Where are the fish at? Where are the bass at? I need a bass. I want a monster. Okay, so we're not really getting anything here. Um, I am going to walk. So if I hit escape after I reel up my reel here. I can go to a different part. I'll go down here, uh, let it load a little bit. And then here I have a little bit of walking room here. Uh, Tim7501 is fishing in here. Um, you can walk around, you can really see the detail of like some weeds, flowers, uh, Tim. What's up, Tim? You catch anything today? Where are you fishing? He's fishing way down there. So yeah, this is what it looks like over here. I'll switch to my second rod, or my first rod actually, uh, to show you what uh, bobber fishing looks like. So I'm gonna cast this out here, and instead of showing what my bait is doing, you see that bobber location up top here. Now, the only problem I have with that is it keeps me from looking at like the main part of the screen, 
uh, where I can see all the pretty scenery and whatnot. And I end up when I fish with a bobber just at that location over there. I don't think it would be hard to just drag uh, that location of the bobber to like right up. I wish you could see where my finger's pointing at, but like right above the reel or to the left of the reel or something. That way I can, I'm not looking at just the side corner, the top right corner of my screen. Um, because you can't really tell by looking at the bobber in the water. Now the bobber is only 30 feet out, so it's not that far, but here I'll show you. If I reel this in, and then I cast out as far as I can possibly go, all the way out there. You can't really see what's going on with that bobber out there. Like, it, you have to look up at that indicator, and that indicator will start like bouncing up and down if you're getting a little bit, a little couple nibbles. But uh, and then it'll really go to one side uh, if you get a bite. I'm, I'm not really having much luck here with the minnows at this place, but. Uh, but if you do see it go to like the left or the right, then you want to hit that right mouse button, give it a good yank, and hopefully you set that hook and then you can reel it in. Um, so that's all. That's pretty much it for Fishing Planet. Um, I'm a huge fan of this game. This game kind of opened up a new genre to me. Um, I never really played a simulation slash casual relaxing type game, but I am such a fan of this game because almost every single night this week, uh, like right before bed, I'd have one beer and I'll watch some Game of Thrones on my other screen and I would go fishing. And I had so much fun with that. Most of these games I play are like first person shooters where you're obviously looking at the screen the entire time or even RPGs where you're constantly worried about like setting your stats, getting gear and stuff like that. And it's, I, I'm just so much of a fan of this casual style game. I feel like I can get so many more hours playing like this and Another game that I have on my radar in the future is Euro Truck Simulator. Um, so I would put, I would take it to the bank that one of these next games I play uh, is going to be Euro Truck Simulator. I know uh, American Truck Simulator is the newer game, but I heard better things about Euro Truck Simulator. But apparently, that's a game where you know you just drive across the country or multiple countries and. Uh, just deliver packages, kind of build your business a little bit. And that game you can play while listening to podcasts, watching Netflix or Game of Thrones or whatnot. So I think I'm going to play that game as well, which I'm pretty excited for. But next week, I promise, is going to be dark and light. Um, I'm loving the game so far, but I just, like I said, I just need a little bit more time with that. Did I catch? Nope, just got some bite. I can't believe I'm going to end this video with only catching one bass. But I guess that kind of proves my point of how realistic it is. Um, the first recording that I said I messed up, it was a 25-minute video, and I was just catching and releasing bass. I was catching so many, but now I only caught one, so the weather's a bit different. Oh, there's a fish. Here we go. All right. Boom. Okay, so here he's at 54 feet out. He's not really fighting too much. He seems heavy, um, but he's not really moving around too much, so... I would say more than likely it is about, oh, there, I just ripped him out of the water. Did I lose him? No, he's right there. Okay, so he's right here. No problem. There's a bass, 0.8 pounds. He was not heavy at all. Uh, young largemouth. I'll keep him, make make me my money. And uh, yeah, so that's that's Fish and Planet. Make sure you guys let me know what you think of Fish and Planet. I would give this a try, even if you aren't big into fishing. Um, because it is fun. There's a social thing. Uh, you can get into these rooms and talk with people. The tutorial was absolutely amazing. Um, if you don't know the first thing about fishing, it really helped you out. You will struggle a little bit with uh, like what lures, what what weight of lines, what kind of lines, uh, what, type, what type of jigs. You will kind of struggle with the compatibility of what goes with what and stuff, which I am too, and I know somewhat uh, some things about fishing, but uh, that's my only complaint. But yeah, so this is Fishing Planet. Uh, I told you guys what I'm sipping on. I think we're good to go. Oh, one more thing. Tomorrow, today's Sunday. Tomorrow, I am releasing a very important announcement video. Um, it's both good things and bad, but it it has everything to do with Zach's Tech Turf and the immediate future of Zach's Tech Turf. Zach's Tech Turf. So make sure you uh, are subscribed and you watch that video. Go live tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Time huge announcement like i said and shout out to all you subscribers over there we just hit 5000 subs this morning as soon as i woke up this morning i saw it so i was pretty excited about that and i appreciate every single one of you subscribing 
yeah that's gonna wrap up fishing planet make sure you guys let me know if you try it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe for more zach's tech turf videos